How you doing, everybody? This your boy T Max Stacks on Jack Entertainment. Here with the famous, infamous, a whole lot of things you can say about this man, Mr. Rick Ross. We're here. We're going to do an interview and get a few questions from him about some of his past and what he's doing now in the press. Okay, uh, Mr. Ross, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Well, I'm doing super. All Thank right. you. Could you ask uh, a few questions? Uh, when were you released from prison? Uh, I was released from prison September the 29th. Uh, this, 2009. 2009. Yeah. Okay, just recently. Yeah. Recent less than 90 days. Time. Okay, yes, and he's fresh out here and he's doing this with us, so this is a big thing. Uh, what are some of the things that you uh, would like to tell the people about that you experienced while you was dealing cocaine? Man, uh, really, man, the game is a lie, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you think that you're in the game to get out, but uh, you're really going to get trapped, and in the end, most of the, everything that you work for is, is going to wind up being taken away from you. You're going to lose it. And a lot of times you lose a lot more than what you started with, you know, even uh, not just the money and the material things, but it takes so many other things from you that, I mean, you know, it would take all day to really go into in detail. But, you know, bottom line, you, you lose family, you know, you lose friends. Uh, I mean, there's just so much, you know, that, 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 that the game costs us right now. Okay, I understand that. Including community. Okay, that's true. Uh, is it true that you was incarcerated due to a, a covert government operation? Uh, well, they played a part in, in, in the drug game, but really what I went to prison for was a, a conspiracy to distribute cocaine. That was my charges. Uh, now what happened is the guy that I used to get my drugs from, he was a Nicaraguan country, which is a, 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 what they call it, an operative of the CIA or the government, meaning that they're not agents of the government, but they're on the government's payroll. So it's a little different, I guess. Okay. Uh, do you feel that any of the stories and the documentaries that they have out there on you already, do you feel those were uh, told fairly true or you feel like they were more fictitious? Well, the only one I saw was the one on BET. You know, I, I haven't had time to watch the rest of them. You know, uh, that one was pretty close, you know, the BET one was a fair assessment. I mean, it was some of the things that I don't feel that went into detail on that uh, I would have liked for them to go into more detail. Okay. Um, so uh, now that you're out, what are some of the things that you would like to tell the youth so they won't fall in some of the traps that may be placed for them, being as though uh, I think that the same things are going on now, but it's just done a different way? Well, one of the main things that I would like for the youth to know is that they can be anything. You know, you don't have to settle for the drug game. I mean, the drug game is what looks like to an unconscious person is an easy way out. You know, and too often we're looking for easy ways out and instead of, you know, grinding. Now, I want to let them know that it's okay to grind, that it's okay to struggle. You know, struggle is ordained. So, you know, just roll up your sleeves, and, and like right now, I'm struggling, you know, I'm going from town to town, I'm losing sleep. Uh, today, I've been on the radio two or three times, I've been to two churches, you know, I'm out here getting it in because I want to take it to the next level, and I want to do it legally. Uh, one, one more question before you let us go. Can you enlighten us on um, a Mr. Gary Webb? Can you tell people anything about him? Man, I love Gary Webb, man. Gary Webb loved us, you know what I'm saying? He didn't like what was going on with our people. He felt that they was incarcerating black people at an alarming rate. He felt that we were going to jail for crimes that wasn't justified by the time. He felt that the crack law was unjustifiable. Uh, I think a thousand to one, crack versus cocaine. Uh, and then he felt that they were taking our property uh, unjustly, you know, like, it was a law that he got changed that a lot of people don't know about where if the police came up and arrested you in your car and just charged you with cocaine, they could take your car without you even being found guilty or anything like that did. And that, that was in California. If they came in your house and they arrested you for selling drugs out your house, they could confiscate your house without you even being convicted. Well, Gary Webb is the one that said that that law was unjust and got it appealed and got it changed to where before they could start that process, they had to at least convict you first of selling drugs before they could just take your property. So, you know, man, Gary did a lot for us. Uh, he's the one that exposed the CIA and uh, Danilo Blandon, who was my supplier. He's the one that made that connection and put it all together. He spent a lot of time of his own. He knew that 
his life was on the line and what he was doing was dangerous and that he was going against some powerful people. Uh, one more thing before we get out. Uh, could you uh, enlighten us on what you have upcoming and uh, what the near future has for you? I'm quite sure there's a lot of good things. Sky's the limit, man, man, for real. Um, offered a lot of film. People probably want to do your documentaries or whatever, what like that and all. Uh, if you have any information as far as like <laughs> contact or yeah. how people could get in contact with you or follow the movement yeah. that you have going on. Well, they can get in contact with me and they can keep up with me on www.freewayenterprise.com. That's my social network website. I started that while I was in prison. Uh, I'm working on my life story, the movie about me, but my life story right now, I'm in the process of closing that out. I'm also working on like three other films with Mike Epps and uh, a couple other people. I got a lot of things going on, so uh, y'all go to the website. I'm gonna be giving out roles off the site. I'm also working on a record label. Man, I just, just, just so many things I got going on, man. It's, 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 it's unlimited. You know what I'm saying? The, the things that I'm gonna do right now, and you know, this move right here that we got going on with hip hop detox. You know, we, we just getting it in, man. And, and it's lovely. You know, my man Turk got me down here right now. You know what I'm saying? Big shots out to him. Big shots out to Gangster. You know what I'm saying? We uh. We trying to bring our community together, man. We trying to put together a movement like they ain't never seen before. You know what I'm saying? We getting it in. Y'all better come get aboard. You know what I'm saying? Now is the time for us to come together as a people, man, and, and stand up. You know, and be counted for it. All right, y'all heard the first from the man. We out of here. Stacks on Dickie and T. Mr. Rick Ross. That's what it is. One does.